Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is your friendly neighborhood farmer Raznak. We are back on No Man's Land and we're finishing up here, up here on Tater Hill. This will be our last harvest of the taters up here on Tater Hill. And then after that, it's going to be grass because we finished the cotton earlier today. I went ahead and uh, finished out the cotton. Darren's been up here working on the potatoes. Uh, we have tons of grass to cut, of course, like always, grass, grass, grass. I also sold all the wool that we had because the wool price was pretty good. We were looking at uh, 700, well, it was actually higher than 726, but now that we've sold it, it started to drop. So I sold all the wool. The wool is gone. We have no more wool. We have no more animals. We have no more cotton. All the cotton has been sold. We are, oh no. Oh man, there I go again, ruining crop. Come on, Raz. Jeez, your team's dependent on you. Epic failure on my part. Epic failure on my part. But what do you do, right? Yep, we're getting the potatoes brought in. Uh, we still have, we have, by the time this is over with, I'm hoping we'll have close to a million liters of potatoes that we still have to take to market. So the money's there. If you look, we are sitting at $26,167,070. And uh, going strong, doing well. Things are going great. Uh, we're well over a million in bonuses by the time you figure in our bales. I think we sold 37 cotton bales. We were able to produce and sell 37 total cotton bales. And um, like I said, we'll have a good amount of potato bonus too. So we'll definitely definitely get some extra money there uh, let's see over at the Joes they're at 24 million three hundred thousand so they're 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 closing that gap that gap is closing quickly and they have a lot of stuff looks like they finished a bunch of their cotton there's still more cotton here which it looks like roadkill is harvesting I know they have this there's a shed over here just full of cotton so they still have all that to sell. It's going to be close, people. I, this is not... There's no guarantee that we're going to win this. Um, in fact, I think it's going to be a lot closer than uh, than expected. I think, uh, I think it's going to be much, much closer than I'm going to be comfortable with. But hey, that's the whole point of a good, good fight is that it, it's close you, you don't want to fight to be over quickly you want it to be long and drawn out and battle and you know just take forever and you know, yeah stuff like that but what I'm doing now that the field is narrow enough I'm doing the little loops kind of around and down just so my pipe is always facing out and then that way uh, when Darren gets back on or JFK or Jim or Whoever, whoever jumps in the server, they can just run up beside me with the truck and haul the potatoes away. That's what they can do. This, uh, this potato harvester is uh, it's kind of torturous. <laughs> it is cool to watch, though. It is pretty cool watching all the dirt junk fly off of it. It's, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's been fun so far. Uh, it's, 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 it's been enjoyable. This is actually the first time I've been able to run the potato harvester because all the other harvesters have been done before that. Non-stop bunker is what it says there. Grim, 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 grim. All that good stuff. You know, there's another piece of kit that I've never used in this game. This belt system right here. Loading this machine with potato will create nicely packed pallets you can sell. I've never, ever ever use that. Does anybody use this to make pallets of potatoes? I I never use this thing. I, I it's kind of confusing to me. Like why would you take something in bulk and put it in pallet? And I don't think unless you get more money for the pallets, which I don't think is the case, maybe for storage, maybe it's easier to store pallets instead of heaps of material. I I, I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, if you've used this, then let me know. Let me know if you've used that thing. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's kind of weird to me. Kind of weird. Indifferent. 
Just not really my thing. <laughs> not my thing at all. So what do we do here? Do we time lapse the rest of this? Or do we do a video montage? We could do a little video montage. It's not too bad. Those are kind of fun. I like them. I like music. If you guys haven't noticed from my channel, I really like music. I think music makes the game, makes your footage and more enjoyable, and more exciting, and just different. I really do. I like the video montage, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm still deciding. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Got to line up. Got to line this up. We're still kind of getting this edge straightened out where we want. But after this potato harvest, it's just going to be grass bales for the good, you know, we only have, as it sits right now, it is around noon Eastern time. So, what do we have? 12, we have 36 hours left on the challenge. 36 hours. And we only have 6 hours left to get all the potatoes in and sold and to be eligible for a bonus. Because if we don't get them sold before 6 o'clock, we don't get a bonus. So we need to get them sold before 6. Uh, it's, it's extremely important to do that. So I'm going to focus on getting these potatoes in. Like I said, we are, went ahead. There's other chores I could be doing, but we're going to get these potatoes in. We're going to get them done. All right. Enjoy the music. Enjoy the video montage of the great potato harvest up here on Tater Hill. And I'll talk to you. Oop. Missed. <laughs> I'll talk to you when we get back. Alrighty, the potato harvest is almost finished. I actually stepped away for a second when Darren was on and he stole my harvester. And then when I get back, JFK was on and he stole the truck. So, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to fill up the greenhouses. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, got the last of our manure in the greenhouses. So we can get our little bit here. You can see the cotton shed is gone. I have sold the cotton shed. It is gone, gone. And, uh, yeah, we're just slowly, slowly getting rid of everything on the farm. I sold, but all those bales are gone now. And after the potato harvest is finished up there, here comes JFK now. You can see we've got 894,015 liters in the silo. Um, we may end up with 100K. I, I don't know don't know yet. We're about to find out as soon as they get finished with it here. 
then we're going to be mowing, baling, and all that fun stuff. All this, where's it at? Oh, I got to turn grass on. There we go. This has to get mowed and baled. This has to get mowed and baled. Um, not this yet. This probably soon. So the next day and a half, two days, doing a lot of baling. That's the idea here. The next video I make on the server will be um, regarding kind of the end. It'll it will finish it out. We will uh, kind of move on. I'll. I'm going to have a bunch of data. We're going to mine the save game for all kinds of data and information. You know, where pretty much everything about everything. We're going to pull in and see what happened, how many hours were spent, how much money was spent on leases. You know, we're going to do all that stuff when when we get the information. Uh, do I want the case pro? I need this guy down here. Got to move some digestite. Gotta move a little. Move a little digestate. Because digestate isn't invaluable. It actually has value. It does. It's cheaper than fertilizer because it's kind of free. Grass juice. Can't go wrong with the little grass juice. Um, more importantly, I found out, and I have shared with Jamberry, I actually found this out yesterday. I shared this information with Jamberry, but if there's digestate in the silo, and say we go to, or in the liquid storages, or in any silo in the BGA, anywhere, anywhere that digestate is stored, so say we go here, I click this, 300,000 liters of digestate is worth $105,000. That's right, I actually just found that out yesterday, and... I told Jamberry the information I had, and that way I didn't want anybody to think that I had an advantage the whole time that I didn't share with everybody. I actually just found it out, and Jamberry is aware of it. I told him last night, and it pretty much goes for anything in the silo. So if you have leftover seed, fertilizer, lime, um, anything that is stored in a silo, when you go to sell that item, you get a little money back. So definitely worth definitely worth doing. Piling up the because we, this thing's like full. It is. It's, when it's full, it stops producing. So we need more, more digestate, please. More and more and more and more. We always need more. So that one's full over there. The north one is not full. There's I think there's only like 60, 70 k in it. So I'm gonna move some of this digestate. Get all of it moved while they finish up with the potatoes. Finish up with the tater harvest. I think they got a couple more strips left down up there. I got kicked out. My heart is broken. Not really. Come on, 7250. Yep, 63 hours on the 7250. This is not our original 7250. This is actually the second 7250 we've had. The first one had standard tires. And we went with Narrows when we started to do um, Sugar Cane. That original 7250 had 68 hours on it, I think. So total on the 7250, we're looking at, what, 100, 131 hours on the 7250? It's pretty crazy. Crazy, crazy numbers. You can actually jump in the shop here and then look. But yeah, we're going to kind of tally up numbers on tractors on both teams and see uh, see if we came up with like any crazy hourage on some of the tractors which I'm sure there is but like I said some of these have been changed out a couple times um, just for tire purposes been doing that uh, so let's let's look at our garage here while that's unloading so we've had this one for 42 in-game days, 71.4 hours. So we're going on 42 days. Even though this was a 28-day challenge, 42 in-game days. Uh, this one's 63 hours and 17 days. This one's 33 days. We've had the 72.44 for 91.7. 23 days for 71.8. Uh, that, that doesn't count. 34 days, 73 hours on the telehandler. Put some time on it. Mowing, 
plus hours of mowing done. Bailing, let's see, I want to see 69.5 hours of bales and then 35. We're going to have total like bale count and everything for you. 51 hours and 42 days. Been at this 42 days. Been, been a long four weeks. It had been awful for four weeks. It's just been kind of long. I tell you what, let's sneak up here and see where they're at. Swing by. Then I think I'm going to start mowing. Really don't know what else to do. I'm kind of at this point where the video is, you know, there's not going to be tons and tons of information because uh, we're kind of coming to the end. And you guys have seen us mow and bail and sell bales and mow and bail and sell bales until we're blue in the face. So, uh, yeah, I'm not, not really interested in that. Not interested in showing you that either, because it's it's kind of tedious. Oh, still work there. Potatoes, man, I would love to get uh, nine fifty three oh one five. I don't think we're gonna get another. I don't. I would love to break a million, but I don't think it's gonna happen because uh, we only get twenty five. We only get the bonus for every hundred thousand. You don't get a bonus for any partial partial amounts. So. That means we're probably going to have like 80,000 liters of potatoes and we don't get a bonus on them, but that's okay. Because as soon as this is over, we're going to start selling these. The price is sucks right now. Under, oh, it's 179 in climbing. Oh, man. Excellent. That's a good thing. Ooh, yes, yes. So we might hold off just a little bit, let that price continue to creep up so that we can uh, get a little more out of our potatoes, maybe field is finished here it is looking good looking good oh jfk's mowing already yep he's hard at mowing yep potatoes are looking good in fact i'm gonna, I'm gonna do this i'm gonna switch to the truck you go park this go park it and uh take the taters in and then I'll calculate up the totals submit that into the spreadsheet and then I'm gonna start selling all the potatoes because then we can get uh, all of our bonus money because I'm I'm not gonna have any more time I, I, I have a half hour left of gameplay and then after that I'm out of time I don't have any more time uh, until after 6 o'clock well the bonus expires at 6 p.m. in fact I'll probably be on like it's 5 50 something and then uh then yeah, after that we're done there we go. yeah we're not we're not gonna cap we're not gonna cap a million Ugh! it was it was a good try though definitely was a good try <laughs> be out there in here and we are finished with the potatoes Taters are done. Turn that to the shop and we'll get our final potato tally trying to remember how many we had last time and I just so happened to have fancy technology at my fingertips <laughs> to pull up what we had so let's see 492,241 liters last time so the last time we harvested that field up there we got 492,241 liters this time around let's see how many we get just dump these in here do to do to do dump 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 all right so we got 492 nine so there's 978 408 in there um so actually the harvest wasn't as good this time for some reason so 978, 408 minus 492, 92 what? 492, 241. 
486,167 uh, liters. Yep, that's what we got on this harvest. 486,167 liters. We, we really should have expanded the potato field just a little bit to uh, to get us that, you know, even 500 on each one. But we didn't, and these things happen. But that's okay. It's okay. It's not a bad yield. 486,161. We have 978,408 liters of potatoes to sell. The price is climbing on potatoes. It's a 179 and going up, but I don't think we're going to wait. We're just going to sell. We're going to get all these potatoes gone. That way, this is done. It's off our books, and we will get our nine bonuses. So we get $25,000 for. 900,000. So we get $225,000 just in bonus money if we get those potatoes sold before 6 o'clock. So that's what we're going to do. And I think that's the end of this video. That's right. That's right. We're going to have one more Pros versus Joes video. It'll be the finale video. We'll go over who won. We'll go over like a bunch of statistics. I'll have a bunch of information and data and, and all kinds of fun stuff we'll look at. And then we'll also talk about kind of what's next for the channel where I am going after this and uh, yeah we'll be doing that tomorrow tomorrow you should be able to watch that video oh no it's today too yeah yeah because this video will be out Wednesday yep you should be able to watch that on Thursday or Friday probably more like Friday because I'll take like a day to finalize the numbers and all that stuff but yeah probably probably more like Friday before I have the final tally on everything all right everybody take care thanks for watching Stay safe. We'll see you next time.